Big beautiful silver maple log here today. This is a very common tree where I live here in Utah. Now the smallest diameter of this log is 36 inches. So what I did is I bolted this out into 18 inch lengths. I've got four 18 inch blocks here and that's going to divide real nicely into 36. If you look closely here, well, if I look here at the pith, I've got a radial crack emanating right through it, and there's a slight one right here. That's going to tell me where to run my chainsaw for the, the most yield out of this log. Well, I'm going to run the chainsaw right through that radial pith, just like this, and then I'm going to slab another piece, maybe about six inches away from that one, just like that. Another six inches, just like that. And then I'll get a bowl blank here, a bowl blank there, another bowl blank there, another bowl blank there, and so on. I might cut for some platter blanks on this side, and I'll get to that when I'll cut to that when I get to that point. So you can see I made a series of cuts here. Um, I'll get one big bowl here. This is pretty thick. That's almost seven and a half, eight inches. Good thick bowl there. I'll get two bowls on this slab here. Uh, maybe three here. I don't know yet, but we'll, we'll find out as we cut this out. Now notice, like I said, I, I made a series of cuts, but I haven't cut through all the way. That helps me out here in the field cutting. So now I'm going to start lopping off wood here. Knock that piece off, knock that piece off, knock that piece off. Here's my platter blank area here. Knock that piece off and everything will roll this way. And it'll make it a lot easier to cut. Well, not bad for living in a desert. Look at all that beautiful fiddleback. That's going to make some nice work. I'm thinking about cutting this piece here. It's a little easier because it's more round. Well, the pith, I've got the pith center. There's a little crack there and I got that vertical so it'll be a little easier to cut too. <clears throat> now, let's take a look at this. I'm going to cut a line right through here. Again, I'm going for maximum yield here. Um, we're looking at a good 37, 38 inches. That's excellent. A little bit of extra for waste. Let's go here. So about 18 inches to that area there too. Well, I have to cut a flat spot there for the bandsaw area. So let's go about six inches, six inches and six. So a line like this, a line like that, and a line like that. Let's look on this other side. And I've got 22 inches here. So that gives me a little bit more uh, than the 18 I had on this side. So let's go over the platter blank again, since this wood is so pretty. Got great fiddle back. Let's take a two inch swath right there, just like so. And then let's start with our six inches again. Maybe just a little heavier, a little heavier and then a flat spot right here. And that's how I'm gonna slab this one here. That'll work.